Ship's caught a current. Be out in the chip. Almost there, Captain. Grande Skydom. Now we're a step closer to finishing our journey. Yeah. <sighs> it's nice we're getting closer to our goal and everything. But I was thinking, wouldn't it be wonderful if our adventures never ended? To me, seeing the world with everyone is so much fun. I sort of wish that it could go on forever and ever. You read my mind. It looks like the ship's flying steady again. Let's go check on the others. Catalina? What is it, Lyria? What do you think is out there? At the end of the Sky Realm, I mean. A wall, maybe? <laughs> if there is, it'd be pretty tall. Oh, now that you bring it up, I guess I've never thought about it before. Hey, can I ask you something? What do you think is at the end of the world? No idea, but I'm dying to find out. Same here! Will we no cloud unturn? <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, we know there's at least two things waiting for us out there. First is Estelucia, the island of the Astros, and second is your dad. I can't imagine what adventures we're in for next. Certainly in high spirits, Lyria. <laughs> I'm just excited to start a brand new adventure. Me too. Who knows what we'll find in this Skydom? Ah, oh, man, feel that wind flowing through your hair. <laughs> it does have a certain nostalgic quality to it. Wait! Does that mean you've been to the Skydome before, Rosetta? Oh, sweetie. <laughs> I can't start giving away my secrets now. Aw, you never give me a straight answer. Because you've got no filter. Maybe you'll understand when you're older. Zip it! I've told you a bunch of times, stop treating me like a baby! She's right, Rackham. Io is a mature, sophisticated lady. Two against one ain't fair. I'm counting on you, Eo. And you won't be disappointed. My magic's getting stronger every day. Ugh, if anybody's the immature one, it's Rackham. Oh, Eo. Just forget about him. Think about these new skies we get to explore.
It's this new Skydom. Reminds me of my younger days. Got me falling in love with the skies all over again. But you can rest easy. I'm keeping an eye on the horizon. Anything comes close to the ship, and you'll be the first to know. Think we'll see monsters? Hard to say. But if I know these airways, the skies will turn on you when you least expect it. Why don't you go check on the rest of the crew? I got things covered up here. We're on the verge of entering a new Skydom. No knees up now, Captain. <laughs> Seems like everyone's in high spirits. Should be seeing signs of civilization soon. I hope the island has a hotel. Huh? Heads up! We got monsters! a whole flock of wyverns. Were they hiding in the clouds? Neo! Rosetta! You two handle the lizards on the port side! On it! Give it your own! Neo, jerks! Not Not this. Looking good! Just like that! This should do it! Nice move, bud! Showed those losers. <laughs> <laughs> you can't mess with the best. <sighs> <laughs> we did it. Focus on calming it. Looking good. 
Me worried there. I. <sighs> Lyria! Look out! <laughs> Lyria! Captain! Burn! Whoa, back! 
Back up! I can't! They're too heavy! Lyria's voice echoed through the darkness. It was familiar. Painfully familiar. Just like the day we met, before this whole long journey began. Though I could barely use my sword, I tried to protect Lyria from the Empire. I almost died. But then... You protected me. Now it's my turn to save you. Take my power. Let it guide you. Let it become your strength. I know you can do this. Our lives are linked. While I may not fully understand how, Lyria gave half her life to save me. Her gift gave me the push I needed to pursue my own quest, finding Estelusia, Island of the Astrals. It was a fabled place at the end of the sky, where dreams are said to come true. Lyria and I not to mention our ever-growing crew, are still continuing our search. But someday... Someday we'll find it. Then, finally, the life link between us will... Huh? Where... am I? Oh, right. Lyria fell from the ship. Then Vern and I leapt after her. You gotta wake up! Come on! Open your eyes! I said wake up! Dream about Lyria again? Maybe you bumped your head on the way down. Uh, speaking of Lyria, I didn't see where she fell. She should be close. Let's search the area. Dang, this forest is huge. Don't get us lost, okay, pal? Everybody's worried sick. Wonder when we'll see him again. It looks like the path continues behind that ivy. Can you hear it? Looking good. Nice. Now we can move on.
You can take him right. Show him who's boss. You Just like that. No. <laughs> This should do it! Now, let's lose these trees and meet up with the crew. Now that I think about it, the first time we met was in a forest like this. I was thinking about that too. Back in Zinkin's day, right? Yeah, we've sure come a long way, huh? I wonder how everybody back home's doing. Position, people. We can take it out when we turn attack. Put it on! 
Forgive me for being late, Captain. Hope you saved some fun for me. Ooh, looks like everyone's no worse for wear. Oh, thanks for the save, Oigan. Lyria, about what happened with Bahamut. Do you have it under control now? Yes, I think I do. Uh, why did it flip out on us? I don't really know. Well, hanging out here isn't gonna help. How about we head back to the Grand Cipher? I'm with Eo. Better get moving before more monsters get the munchies. In that case, maybe we should follow this trail instead. I have a feeling it leads to a nearby town. Doesn't that sound like the perfect place to learn more about Zega Grande? But what about the Grand Cipher? She's sitting pretty behind some cliffs past the forest. But that last tussle in the sky dinged her up a bit. Be great if we could grab repairs. Then it's settled. Into town we go. Huh, wonder if they got any plump, juicy apples. Oh, Vern, you're always thinking about food. <laughs> Look who's talking. Uh, my tummy always picks the worst time to growl. <laughs> you heard Lyria's stomach. Let's go find that town. Oh, wonder what kind of city it'll be. Can't wait to find out. Know what I'm wondering? How'd you guys fall from that high up without a scratch? It's a miracle. Good question. Maybe the canopy broke our fall. In any case, we got lucky. Hey, any skyfarer who tells you life ain't about luck is a liar in my book. Don't mind if I do. Look! I see buildings! <laughs> Seems like a pleasant place to unwind. Only one way to find out. Let's go! Check out the airships. Probably got a strong trade network going. Kinda reminds me of good old Port Breeze. We should look for a place where Lyria can rest. 
Me? But I feel fine. You've had a rough afternoon today. You shouldn't push yourself too hard. I know, but we're in a brand new town and I want to explore it with everyone. Well, Captain? Enjoy some time to yourselves, everyone. Yay! <laughs> Where you guys get your energy from? <laughs> if Lyria's up for a little excursion, then I don't see the harm in it. In the meantime, I'll grab the Grand Cipher. Should be a dock around here somewhere. As for me, I'm hankering to try the local brews they got in these parts. We just got here and you already need a drink? What's with you, geezers? What? I deserve a refreshing cocktail after a long hike. Ugh, you don't deserve anything. <laughs> You're all too much. Anyway, after exploring for a bit, let's meet back at that big building over there. bring her in for repairs can I tell you something I heard what you did when I was falling off the ship I felt so happy knowing you sprang to my rescue we've been through a lot together visited new islands met new people It hasn't always been the safest trip, but you've always been there to protect me. I just wanted to say thank you. And since our lives are intertwined, let's make the most of our journey together. Yeah. <laughs> now my face feels a little hot. <laughs> That's so true. Hmm. Doesn't it smell nice? <laughs> sure does. <laughs> Sorry. Huh? Kept y'all waiting. Cypher's officially in the shop. Nice work. Hey. Thanks, Rackham. So, we've got time to burn, it seems. Anyone will... Uh. Hmm? You guys hear that? All right, I'm off. Pardon my rudeness. I, uh, don't do well with lizards. Hey! I ain't no lizard! It, it can talk? I do beg your pardon. We didn't mean to startle you. And we certainly don't intend on starting any trouble. Actually, we're a crew of humble skyfarers. This is Vern. I assure you, he means no harm. If anything, he's quite the lovable dragon once you get to know him. Uh, you've got it all wrong, Catalina. I'm a cool dragon! Huh. Skyfarers, you say? Oh! Allow me to introduce myself. My name is... <sighs> Roland, you've got to help us. A tornado suddenly hit our village out of nowhere. A tornado? But something have angered Tempil's primal beast? Huh? Remain here in Folka. I'll handle the rest. My apologies. It seems I'm needed elsewhere, so I'm afraid this is farewell for now. Hey, wait! 
He sure ran off in a hurry. And I heard him say Primal Beast. We should follow him. suddenly lit up, you know? And the wind was like a... whoosh! And that primeval god is not happy. Slow down, take a few deep breaths, and tell me exactly what happened. Okay! Okay. I'm calm. An altar, fierce winds, and what they call a primeval god. Sound familiar? Yeah, it does. Smells fishy. It's got to be connected to Bahamut going ballistic on us. <sighs> that guy with glasses knows something we don't. Want to see if we can tag along? He could lead us to a clue. What do you think, Captain? Well, we can't ignore people in trouble. Exacto mundo! Right then. I know what I have to do. Time to get moving. Um, excuse me? Ah, hello again. The situation is a bit... out of hand, as you can see. If you need something from me, can it wait? I must leave town for a spell. Then I'll cut to the chase. Allow us to join you. Say that again? It seems you're in a predicament. Depending on the situation, we could be of help. I appreciate the offer, I really do, but... You mentioned a primal beast, right? If that's the problem, we want to lend a hand. We had our own snag as soon as we arrived in this skydom. Bet your round of drinks, whatever you're facing, has to do with us, too. Simply put, our goals are aligned. It takes two to tango, wouldn't you say? I don't know. Hmm. Though, more hands would certainly be welcome. Very well. I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Yay! Anything can happen out there. You should get organized before we head out. We're good to go. Good. All aboard the airship. There's no time to waste. thing, autopilot. So, I bet you're wondering who I am. Huh? Mm -hmm. I work for the Church of Folka, mostly as a vicar. Call me Roland. I'm Catalina, protector of this crew. Name's Rackham. Cheers. And I'm Eo. Eugen here. Rosetta. You can call me Ver. I'm Lyria. Nice to meet you. And finally, this is our captain. Wow. I can't imagine captaining a crew at your age. <laughs> well, I'm not exactly a slouch myself. You see, I'm kind of a Mr. Fix-It, handling all the odd jobs after church. 
From furniture repair to marriage counseling, I can mend it all. Results guaranteed. When Roland's on the case, nothing is impossible! Okay. <laughs> Too dramatic, huh? This guy's a few apples short of a bushel. He'll hear you, dummy! Glad you're with us. High five, fix it, dude! Uh, dude? <laughs> Once again, my name is Roland. Yep. Heard you the first time. Cheers, fix it, dude. But it's rolling. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>